Everyone's talking about AI agents these days, but here's the thing. Most frameworks are bloated nightmares that take forever to get running. I've been testing Agno, and honestly, it's different. This is an open source framework that's actually built for speed, not just marketing hype. <clears throat> Let me be straight with you. Agno used to be called Fidata, so if you've heard that name floating around, same thing. What caught my attention is they're obsessing over performance in ways other frameworks aren't. We're talking microseconds here. But when you're building production agents, that stuff adds up fast. Here's what actually matters about Agno. It's model agnostic, meaning you can plug in OpenAI, Anthropic, Grok, whatever you want, no vendor lock-in. The framework gives you five levels of complexity from basic tool using agents all the way up to full workflows with state management. Most people will probably stick to levels one through three, but having those options is nice. The big selling point is memory and reasoning. Your agents can actually remember context across conversations and make decisions based on that history. Sounds basic, but you'd be surprised how many frameworks mess this up. Plus, they've got a clean UI for chatting with your agents, which is way better than terminal debugging. Now here's the catch. This is important. Agno is still pretty new. The documentation isn't perfect, and you'll need solid Python skills to make it work. This isn't a no-code solution. Also, while it's free and open source, you're still paying for the underlying models and any cloud infrastructure you need. The community seems solid, though. Developers are actually using this thing in production, not just toy projects. The GitHub activity is healthy, and the performance benchmarks they share are impressive, assuming they're legit. Bottom line, if you're a Python developer who wants to build fast AI agents without fighting a heavyweight framework, Agno is worth checking out. It's not perfect, but it's focused on the right problems. Most alternatives are either too simple or overcomplicated. This hits a sweet spot. If this helped you out, hit like and subscribe. I break down the latest and most talked about tools every week across finance, marketing, software, design, basically any niche you care about. Check out the newest review here or hit the playlist if you're still comparing. But hey, what's your take? Is this one a win or would you pass? Drop a comment. I'm always curious what real users think.